on X-Play. We investigate video game violence and more games your mama wouldn't like. I expect a number of horrible deaths tonight. It doesn't get worse than this. So cover your eyes, campers. It's bleeding time. Mothers, don't let your babies grow up to be Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. That would be really weird. It would be a little here. weird. Now, hello, concerned parents, and welcome to another blood-drenched edition of games your mama wouldn't like. For years, violent video games have been blamed for short attention spans, crime waves, and giving men unrealistic expectations about breast size. Mm -hmm. Today, we once again sink to rock bottom to bring you more tales of malice and mayhem. From a crack-smoking game that has parents groups up in arms to a game where half-naked vampire fights goth demons, we'll be looking into the abyss and finding out if the abyss really does look bad. You know, if it does look back, does it wonder, hey, why is that guy in the ugly shirt staring at me? If you only watch one show about video games this year, that's me you're talking about, uh -huh. isn't it? Uh -huh. All right, well, you've probably already seen some other show that's on this channel. But if you watch two shows, make the second this episode, and at least you'll leave disgusted. And if you're a parent, I bet no video game disgusted you more than NARC, the brutal Grand Theft Auto clone that glorified drug use. Well... I'm not a parent, but I was actually more disturbed by Disney Magical Princess. It makes all little girls look like bling-obsessed gold diggers. Well, they are. Don't, don't hit me! See, see, video games are causing violence. Here's a review of the controversial narc. All the glisters is not gold, kids. But if you can smoke it, pop it, or shoot it, you better get cracking before the narcs beat you to it. What do you get when you mix equal parts Michael Madsen, Bill Bellamy, with the blood-borne contents of a kid at a Chemical Brothers show? If you answered a crappy game, you're right. Narc attempts to distract you from the idea that there may be a game somewhere with its near-constant barrage of let's get the pug stoned humor. I'm telling everyone you're my bitch, okay? Who would stoop to such lows? Hi, kids. I'm Grovler. The crack squirrel! Seems there's a new drug on the block bringing dead folks back to the thug life. Liquid soul is flooding the streets, and it's up to our fabulously flawed detectives here to get involved. Oh, that's good. You'll start in the city of lost children as either Marcus or Jack. Bill Bellamy and Michael Madsen supply the voice talent with Ron Perlman as the chief. And apparently U.S. law enforcement answers to a higher power. Bleaksburg here is chock full of the sadly overlooked members of our great society. Take this bottomed out yet noble daughter of the night, distraught over someone named Richard. No more dick! I hope you're happy, Richard. Dystopic visions of urban blight is nothing new, but Nark tries to up the ante by making the resident moral authority even worse than the local drug dealers. You have the right to remain stoned. Whether they're sadistically beating a handcuffed perp for info, popping pills, or huffing dope, these guys bear absolutely no resemblance to righteous lawmen. Now that the long arm of the law is tied off, let's hit the town in search of game. Right around an objective-based universe gleaning mission furthering info, wronging wrongs, sniping, and the most brutal activity known in the gaming world, listening. We underestimated their tenacity, that's all. After a while, you'll kind of give up on the storyline as you continue to wage yet another stereotypical street battle to earn cred. The game's not all bad. It can sometimes teach valuable life lessons. Trade! Hey, wanna get high? Negotiation. Never bring a bat to a gunfight. It's on! Side quests at times border on the surreally inane. Clouds of combatants only add a cluttered, trashy feel to gameplay. Auto-targeting is relatively responsive, but like a junkie's gaze, a little unfocused. The game's really banking on the frat house giggle of the drug effect. When our badge wielding law dudes just can't take it anymore, they get high. You should have laid off the ding-dongs after reservoir dogs, bro. Even at 20 bucks, this game is more annoying than entertaining. The long-winded exhalation, we give it a two. Bye, kids. Remember, don't do drugs. Out of five. It is a damn shame when a crappy game gets tons of free publicity thanks to overactive media hype. At least the forbidden gaming fruit known as Grand Theft Auto 3 was actually rich and succulent. Narc's gameplay, on the other hand, is rotten to the core. 
That was a very complex metaphor, Adam. Well done. Thank you. Of course, not all conversations can be as full of poetic import as mine. Some deal with the basis of emotions, like lust. And this next clip is just disgusting and delightful. Thank you for calling 1-900-NINJA-LOVE. A ninja will be with you momentarily. Hello? Don't waste my time. Let's go. Damn, I like a ninja that can get down to business. Want more? Oh, yeah, baby. You know who I am? I don't care who you are. I'm Link. That's all you've got? You know, from Legend of Zelda. Pitiful. Could you talk dirty to me again? Forgive me. That's OK. <laughs> well, are, are you OK? I won't hold back. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. I can oh, feel okay. the evil. Oh, you feel that? Yeah, I feel it too. Get ready. Zelda! Are you ready? Oh, yeah, just shut the hell up. Uh. Oh. It's time for you to sleep. Yeah. Yeah, we'll talk tomorrow. Get out of my sight. Thanks for helping me clean my sword. What are you doing? Nothing. Get out of here. Trip the floor. Get out of here. It's not really violent, but phone sex is probably something your mama wouldn't like. Unless you have the mama from Shortcuts. Or unless your mama's a vampire chicken bondage gear, which is the kind of lady we'll be seeing after the break. Up next, this dialogue not suitable for children. Son of a b You Nazi asshole. The master can blow me. Not suitable for viewing by children. It's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Welcome back to a very violent X-Play. Today, we bring you another edition of games your mama wouldn't like. And your mama certainly wouldn't like this next game because it features a half-naked vampire woman and more severed limbs than Evil Dead 2. Here's a review of Blood Rain 2. My God, look at that. Good night, nurse. Ooh, that's definitely stimulating my economy. Do you like a little gratuitous violence in your softcore porn? Why, then you'll love Blood Rain 2, the ah! game that proves vampires are really trampy. Never forget that. Oh, how could I when all the women in this game dress like this? I've been working on something. Yes, inappropriately attired vampire Rain returns for her second outing. But this time, she's not killing Nazis. She's killing a bunch of contemporary vampires who look like they robbed the local Hot Topic. And with the vastly improved graphics and ragdoll physics, the game is gorier than ever. I expect a number of horrible deaths tonight. And you'll get them. Where's my backup? Sure, there's a plot in this game somewhere, but it's not very good. Dead God, Zerx, it's horrible. But then you aren't buying this for the plot. You're buying it for the killing and the gratuitous underwear shots. And, oh, okay, the killing. Don't mind that leg lying on the floor. That doesn't look very comfortable. Sure, you still have your handy dandy arm blade, but this time around, you also have a gun that shoots, what else, blood. And the harpoon returns. But now you can control where you fling the bad guys. I need help over here. Um, no kidding. You're on fire. It's a problem. There's also a smattering of Prince of Persia style acrobatics that let Rain jump and swing on poles like, well, a stripper. Add to this Rain's delightfully genteel dialogue. Oh, you lying rat sucking son of a b You Nazi asshole. The master can blow me, monkey suit. And you have a game that takes the mature rating to a whole new level. Some of the in-game kills are so graphic, we can't even show them to you. So we covered them with kittens. Oh, so cute. Another nice feature is that there's no crummy item collecting in this game. Switches and levers are so old school anyway. The only resource is blood. Don't stop. Oh, don't stop. Ugh. Ah, did I mention this game was intended for adults? Ooh, should have put that in gay games. Of course, the problem with Blood Rain 2 is that most of Rain's moves are totally unnecessary because the default slash 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 gets the job done every time. When you saw the blades, what did you think was gonna happen? Well, almost every time. On the groin, people! 
Milady. No matter how much blood you spill, the bottom line is that Blood Rain 2 can get really repetitive. <laughs> Even if you spill a lot of blood. Well, because for some reason, the bad guys are chock full of it. It's like a sprinkler. If you're willing to branch out and try some of the more complex moves, you'll no doubt be impressed with how it all looks on screen. But while Blood Rain is pretty and pretty violent, it's also pretty shallow. We give it a three out of five. I'm going to destroy you. Um, no need to get personal about the score. Why don't you just go kill something? Aw, kitty! So cute! Hi, kitty! Meow, meow, meow! This must be my lucky day. Ah, uh, yes. Believe it or not, the X-Play kittens get more fan mail than Tesla or I do. He's brave and adorably cute, little critters. Cover up all the sex violence and rampant drug abuse we can't show you because the FCC would have us assassinated. But there aren't enough kittens in the world to make Blood Rain 2 more than just a rental title. And you can rent it at Gamefly.com. If hundreds of games uh. to rent or buy, some of which your mama might even like. However, one of the best violent games we played in 2005 is coming up later in the show. And while we know you'll want it, your mama probably won't rent it or buy it for you. Sorry. Up next, fun with chiropractic adjustment in Predator Concrete Jungle. It's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Welcome back to X-Play. Today we're showcasing more games your mama wouldn't like. Games filled with violence, depravity, and an all-round lack of clothing. Well, what about a game taking two violent concepts and mixing them together, peanut butter and chocolate style? Why, if you did that, you might have a game that takes a futuristic villain from an Arnold Schwarzenegger film and plops him down in the middle of a Grand Theft Auto clone. Here's our preview of Predator Concrete Jungle. In 1987, a film of great emotional power was made in Central America. That film was called Predator. Now the Predator has returned to Earth in his very own game. But I am too busy running California to participate. Also, Danny Glover is not available. So it is up to you to play it. Now get to the chopper. Get to the chopper! What do you mean this game has no chopper? To attempt to explain the plot of Predator Concrete Jungle is a task so thankless that I'm gonna sum it up this way. It's about the Predator fighting hookers from the future. Oh. You play as an angry predator with a raging drug habit. Um, I thought smack made you sleepy. Okay, I was wrong. Basically, you run through a city full of pimps, thieves, and some guys who might be Haitian. I can't really tell. The law sends us blood. Blood to make our turf sacred. Your job is to recover top secret predator technology stolen by these hooligans by killing and scanning them. So no, no, seriously. So basically, it's a game for kids. Anyway, the Predator spends most of his time taking advantage of the game's joyous Rydell physics engine. Why don't you hang around? Yes, I've still got it. Along the way, you'll fight evil drug lords who are apparently former members of Cirque du Soleil. And you'll also get hit by tiny cars. And make oh, pimps God. cry. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> and maybe you'll even open a Predator chiropractic office. To accomplish all this creative carnage, they'll be using a variety of gadgets. No! There's heat vision, this green vision that confuses me, no! and binoculars. Chopper! Plus, you have a frisbee of death, arm blades, and a spear to make shish kebab with. Or you could just rip people's heads off. The biggest thrill thus far is running around the open-ended city stalking your prey. Oh, uh, look, the old sex store, my home away from home. Ooh, and a local butcher who is shooting me. I have no idea what's going on here. Predator Concrete Jungle offers a sizable amount of content. An exhaustive combat system and other exciting features. Expect a definitive review come this one's rumored launch in the summer.
It's not a rumor. Okay, it's really coming out soon. Now sit back and bask in the warm glow of ragdoll fun. Oh. <laughs> I'll bet good money that your mama still won't like this game when we review it later this year. Oh, come on. It's about an alien fighting hookers for the future. That's clearly a family team premise. What kind of family did you grow up in, Sessler? I was raised by wolves. That's why I'm so furry. Doesn't explain why you dress like that. In a moment, graphic violence and a threesome mini game. Your mama really won't like this one. Still not as vulgar as Deadwood, yet. It's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. If you're just joining us and wondering why your TV splattered with gore, it's because you're watching X Place, more games your mama wouldn't like. All episode long, we've been bringing you gritty urban games filled with gratuitous violence. But now, we're raising the bar by bringing you some classically themed mayhem. Yes, if you like a little scholarly whoop ass in your literature, why not play a game that harks back to the days of ancient mythology for its subject matter? This is one of the few games where you can claim I'm not just ripping that man's head off, I'm learning something. Here's a review of the excellent and excellently violent God of War. After 10 years of suffering, 10 years of endless nightmares, it would finally come to an end. Don't get ahead of yourself. We've only been on for two years. Like a thunderbolt from on high, God of War has struck the PS2. This Herculean hack and slash puts just about every other action game on the system to shame. I will send you back to the depths of Hades! This is Kratos. Even by ancient Greek standards, he is not a nice man. Thank the gods you came back for me! I didn't come back for you. No! He's tired of the killing game and wants to forget his past sins that have haunted him for a decade. So he strikes a deal with the gods of Olympus. They'll help him if he manages to kill Ares, the insane god of war. And if I am able to do this, to kill a god, then the visions, they will end. To do this, Kratos will slice and dice his way through legions of mythological beasties, and you'll love every single minute of it. A visceral, satisfying combat system dominates the gameplay. Every hit feels solid and meaty, and the action is enhanced by the addition of quick minigame-style sequences that let you finish off your foes with cinematic flair. And finish off other things as well. Stay, Kratos. Whoa! Severed heads and violent death is one thing, but bare breasts in a video game? Extreme! Watch it, you're gonna knock the... Talk about a blow to archaeology. God of War specializes in crossing lines you don't expect to be crossed in a game. Sure, you can hack at those harpies till they die, or you can grab one and rip its damn wings off. Whack a Gorgon with chain blades is great, but why not wrench its head off instead? Unfortunately, there's no follow-up command to down their necks. The game is full of over-the-top, uber-violent moments like this. Kratos isn't just a gloomy badass. He's a gloomy badass who'll beat you to death with your own arm. Then there are the boss battles. These exquisitely designed action set pieces are some of the most impressive things ever seen on the PlayStation. The downside? There's only three of them, and the third doesn't quite live up to the other two. Occasionally, the action slows down for a puzzle sequence. The brain teasers in God of War aren't particularly difficult, but they're polished and brilliantly designed. They're so good, I didn't even mind that the first one is essentially an escort mission in which you babysit a wooden crate. It's impossible to recommend God of War highly enough. This is one of the most well-made action games in a long time. From the unbelievable graphics to the movie quality soundtrack to the charmingly brutal combat, the only excuse for passing this one up is a weak stomach. It's on the short side, but we dare you to only play it once. The gods of Olympus have abandoned me. Maybe, Kratos, but X-Play gives you a five out of five. Now there is no hope. Ugh. Somebody get this guy a live journal and an Evanescence album. Oh, Kratos, you're so tortured. 
you actually start feeling kind of bad for the guy as awful really of a person as he is. bad, but I always thought, well, when I get upset now, I think about Kratos and how how, how helpful it would be if I could rip somebody in two. I, th I think it was really was just oh, it was a calming experience. I don't want to rip the wings off things. Yeah. You know? it is so, so you like, like wings more than snapping? Well, the wings have a sound. It's just so great. Yeah, I mean, you I get, get a room full of them. Just I just also like jumping up there and whipping the guys and smashing them on the ground. See, violence is good. Yeah, it's really good. I, I, I think clearly saying that there's, there's something very, very helpful. After a long day at work, go slaughter magical beasts. I uh, like the whole blood pinata thing. I just think the, the game just feels so darn good to play. It's very visceral. You feel like you've really yeah. hit something, which is so great. And the yeah. controls work so well, and the boss battles are amazing. You know, Joe Lieberman is out there right now watching us say this. Yeah. And he's getting all upset again. He's gonna a little call, steam coming so, out of the yeah, ears. Yeah. But the boss battles are amazing. The Minotaur, I think, is my favorite. I don't know. People yeah. argue about the Hydra, the Minotaur. I think the Hydra was just so exciting when it happened. It all right, right, maybe you have an opinion. Yeah, you do. Yeah. So yeah. then let us know about it on our website. G40TV.com slash xplay. I think that's it. That so, is so it. So go that's there and sound is. off like you haven't been sounding off already. Yes. Uh, okay. Now we're going to viewer mail. We are. We wrap things up today with a letter from an actual mom. They exist. They do. It would be so cool if you guys did a kid-friendly games episode. My three-and-a-half-year-old son loves your show. He gets so excited when it comes on. Plus, it's something we can watch together instead of having to watch Cartoons. I like cartoons. I like cartoons too, but I can see maybe getting sick of little kids' cartoons. All right. Well, anyway, you're letting your three and a half year old kid watch a show. That's very impressive. Apparently, somebody's not listening to the cultural trog delights that are the parents' television council. So there you go. Though you may want to. Yeah, we, we, we've done some naughty stuff today. I we have like it. naked people. We have swearing. We have bad things happening. Just giving them good things early in life. Anyway, good games for kids. Catch. Uh, yeah. Reading. Re is that a game? Reading's a game now? Shh, if you tell them what's a game, they'll read. Okay. Sunshine. Sunshine's a good game. You go outside and you just like that, but you have to wear the sunblock. Yes, well, obviously. also, Pikmin's fun. Little strategy. Good game. Pick the game.